Hey guys, my name's Sarah and this is my channel, The Sassy Bookworm. So today I'm going to be doing a craft for you guys. I'm doing a really simple craft for my first video just because I'm not sure how I want to set these up. So based on this depends on how I'm going to set up everything else. So today I'm going to be making frosted glass candle holders and I'll show you a little clip right here. Let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, we're starting off with a blank slate. So what you're gonna need for this craft is a glass candle holder. You can choose any size you want to, any shape. I like cylindrical ones just because I like the way that the stickers are gonna lay and it's easier to spray. Of course, you're gonna need stickers to stick on it. So today I'm going to do a Mockingjay candle holder and then I'm also gonna do a reed one. And I've already put the stickers on this one. Of course, you're gonna need scissors and frosted glass spray now this stuff is great I absolutely love it I use it on a lot of crafts so step one is going to be to pick the stickers that you're going to use to make your design on your glass candle holder so for this one I just printed off the word read in a really pretty font I done it from my computer and I printed it on sticker paper because I love sticker paper it is great you can customize stickers and everything and then I've also got these Mockingjay ones that I haven't finished cutting now, but I'll do those in just a second. So to start off with, you're gonna wanna make sure that your candle holder is actually clean. Make sure there's no spots on it or anything. These are looking good, so we don't have to clean these. If you wanna clean them, you can go over them with some rubbing alcohol or just some plain Windex, but make sure they're dry before you start this so your stickers stick well. So now all we gotta do is just start putting the stickers on it, okay? So I'm gonna start peeling the backs off the stickers, maybe. And of course be careful when you're doing this so that you either don't rip the sticker or it gets damaged in some way. Now when you're putting these on, make sure that you put it where you want it because they're a little harder to get off than normal stickers. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Make sure to get all the backing off of the stickers, otherwise they're not gonna stick on here right. And basically all I'm doing is eyeballing this. You don't have to have it exactly even. Look at that, record time. Now this is definitely just something cute to put on your bookshelf, put a candle in it, to light up your room in the dark. I made mine mainly just to sit on my bookshelf, but you guys can actually use yours as candles. I usually put the little tea light candles in them, the fake ones, because I'm all, I don't know how the frosted glass actually holds up to heat. So I haven't tried an actual candle in it yet, but the fake tea light candles work great in these. All right, so right now we've got reed on it. So for this one, I'm actually going to finish cutting out this Mockingjay. I've just got these little bitty parts in here to cut out, so We'll just speed this part up. When you're cutting these, you don't have to get them perfect just because when they go on here, it's not this actual shape that's gonna be in there. You're gonna frost it over. So if it's a little crooked in places, it's not that big of a deal, you know? So I found my Mockingjay symbols online. I just searched um, Mockingjay symbol on Google and it pulled up all kinds of symbols. I would go for the one that has just a black one. Don't do the gold one because it's just going to waste your ink really. My tip for when you're doing these is if you're good with an X-Acto knife to use that but I'm not very good with them. I always end up ripping stuff, so I'm a lot better just using scissors through here. But if you are good at it, I would definitely suggest using them. It probably wouldn't take as long as it is for me. Alrighty. 
pretty guys so once you get your design cut out as you can see I've got it all hollowed out to where it'll be just this part will be open on the thing so once you get your sticker cut out you're gonna want to peel off the bat be careful if you're using a design that has like little pieces like this one does all right so we've got our Mockingjay tour out so what we're going to do is we're going to press it onto the glass You're going to want to press firmly down so none of the glass spray actually gets into the, like, underneath it. Okay. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. And now to frosted glass them, you're going to have to go outside or a well-ventilated area just because that's what you got to do with aerosol sprays. That's what they make you do. I'm sorry. All right, guys, so let's move this operation outside. All right, guys, so we've moved outside to frosted spray these. Now, when you do this, you're gonna wanna turn them upside down so that you can get the bottom of it and not get it inside of it. And then just do even coats all the way around. make sure to get very in here so that your design is more prominent as well all right so now that we've got it all frosted I'm actually going to move them inside to dry so that my cat doesn't get into them all righty so we've got them drying right now and we're gonna check back in a little bit see how they're looking and if they need another coat and if not then we're good to go all right guys so after checking in I don't think we're going to need another coat. They're very opaque, so it's time to peel off the stickers. This reed one was fairly easy to peel off. Now we got to go for this mocking jay. It's going to take a while. Aw, it's looking good. All right, guys, so we've got everything peeled off. And if, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some like stickies left from the paper. So what you can do to clear that up is to get some Q-tips and some rubbing alcohol and just go over it real easy and just kind of rub it off. All right guys, so we got our finished products. We got our Mockingjay and the one that says Reed. Can't wait to put these on my bookshelves and turn little tea lights on them at night and have them light up my room. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up down below. Comment about what you think I should do differently to kind of present my craft since this was my first time doing a craft video. Tell me what you think I should do to set it up a little bit better. And if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> that was almost bad.